Hello. If you are watching this video right now, that means that you are a food sovereignty leader and that you are stepping up and getting ready to start a nitrogen food packing event in your community. So thank you so much for taking leadership and paving the way. I've had a lot of questions about the nitrogen tank. So today I'm making a short video to answer as many of those questions as possible. So come on over here. I'd like to show you, this is a about 120 cubic foot nitrogen tank. So I'm about five, seven and a half, so you can kind of see the, the size of it. It's doable, I can move this thing around. Um, I have a larger dolly when I uh, go to the food packing events. The dolly is how you wanna move your tank around. You always wanna, whenever you're moving your tank, have one of these lids on the top so that the, uh, so that the uh, valve at the top, I'll show you right now, isn't exposed. You never want this to be um, bumped or anything like that, so you got you got a lid. That's what this is. You can get a nitrogen tank at your local welder supply store. Always buy local if you can. Um, there are a larger comp national companies like Airgas, um, and they can um, they, they charge more. They're more expensive, and the money goes out of your community. So I am up in Northern California, and I use Complete Welders Supply. So um, I highly recommend them. They're great, and I'm going to get back to that about that in just a minute. So you want to attach your nitrogen tank onto a dolly when you're at the event for sure. It helps to stabilize the tank. You, these are under pressure, so you don't want them to fall over. Not only would it break your regulator, but it could, um, it could send this thing flying. So you don't want that to happen. You want to stabilize your tank just to stay safe. Um, I want to talk about the regulator here. The regulators, um, this is a CGA5. 80 regulator. Um, they run about uh, 70 to, you know, anywhere up to $100, $200. You don't need a fancy one. You just need the most basic one. So um, on this regulator, it fits right onto the tank, and I'll, I'll put it on there in just a moment. On the right side, or on the, the side closest to the tank, is the gauge that shows you how much gas you got. So on the other side, the other gauge is the is the farthest away from the tank. Sometimes they get switched around. Uh, the one that's farthest away from the tank is going to tell you your PSI or the pounds per square inch, the pressure that it's coming out at. We this gauge right here that's in the middle, right here, this uh, this little valve. This is what controls the pressure. So you want to set it. You know, you when you first put it on, you're not going to know what PSI it is at first. So you're gonna we're gonna put it on and then we're gonna um, have this be somewhat loose, not very tight. You don't want it super tight when you first put it on. So let's go ahead and, and put it on um, right here. You're going to need one of these big wrenches, you know, like this. Boom, like that. I'm going to come over here. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. I'm not used to doing it. I'm going to come around this way here. Here we go. So you're just going to screw it on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come over here. I've got one all set up. Let me show you this. This is how I store the regulator like this, okay? So these are breakable. You want I, I store mine in a towel. I wrap it up in a towel like this, and then I put it in my white bucket. That way I protect the regulator, okay? You want to get a food gun and a, and a, um, and a hose. This hose is uh, 19 dollars It's $20, basically, at Complete Welder Supply. You can call the store and order one there. They also sell these guns that attach to them. These are um, long-needled um, blow guns or food guns. I call them food guns. And the two go together, and you hook them together like this. So you've got your gun that's attached right here at the bottom of the regulator. And then you attach your gun to the hose. The hose, the gun, okay, you got it. I think you got it, okay? Um, of course, I'm not, this is not a professional video. This is just a how-to, best I can, show you. So here we go. We got the gauge on the right, showing us the uh, level of gas in the tank. And the gauge on the left, the farthest away, is going to show us the pounds per pressure. I've got this set pretty loose. Now I'm going to come over here and put it on. We're going to actually pack a bucket today together. Thanks for being patient with me. I appreciate that so much. 
You know, I just learned this all by myself here, just trying to put it together. I did see a video about 10 years ago from some folks up in Nevada County, and um, they were peak oil um, organization that could see what was coming down the pike uh, 10 years ago. So I knew about this, and when the uh, scandemic hit, I knew what to do. So and I kicked right into action, and okay, so I tighten it as much as I can with my hand. I want you to see this. Okay, then I'm just going to come in here and tighten it as tight as I can there. Okay, now you want to turn it on. I've got this set not too high, not too low, and I'm going to open up the tank. I just open it up. I see that I've got uh, more than a half a tank in here, and my PSI is about 40 right now. We want to um, run our PSI between 25 and 40. Okay, so you'll see what, how much pressure it gets in the gun. So you can kind of hear that. If it's kind of a low pressure, I might want to turn it up a little bit. So if I want to turn it up, get a little more pressure, I'm going to tighten it. Yeah. You don't want to waste the gas, but you want to be efficient in your packing. So um, we packed 200 buckets. On our on a, in about uh, four hours on our first go, and we will definitely do a lot more than that next time. So let's pack a bucket together. Uh, let me move this down here a little bit. I think you can see it. There we go. Okay, so I got a bucket of rice here. It's been frozen for a long time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gun. I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to start to. The nitrogen displaces the oxygen. That's what we're using the nitrogen for. Right now I'm at sea level and I am breathing about 21% oxygen. The rest of what's in the air is nitrogen. So I'm going through here and I'm going through. You can see about how long it takes for me to displace at 40 PSI. Yep, I come up to the top. Put my gasket lid right on the top here. Now I'm going to fill the top of the bucket. Boom, just like that, okay? And then you need a mallet. You want to kind of hit all four corners. Got it, okay? This is a food grade bucket. They're running about eight bucks for a bucket and a lid and they're hard to find, so you wanna get shopping on buckets. Um, that's, another, that's another video I'll get into a little bit later, but that's basically it. So we're gonna do our packing and then we're gonna take the regulator off. We're gonna wrap it in a nice towel. Then we're gonna put the, uh, well, first of all, we're gonna turn the gas off. There we go. Turn the gas off, then take the regulator off, and then wrap the regulator in a towel. I store them in a, a white bucket, and then we're um, going to put the cap back on to the um, nitrogen tank, and then we're going to move the nitrogen tank over to wherever it's going to go to get transported. As far as buying the hose and the, um, the food gun, um, you can go to Complete Welder Supply. If you can't find one of these in your hometown, wherever you may be, you can call 707-584-0111 and um, ask for a uh, hose, a nitrogen hose, and a nitrogen blow gun, long needle. Just tell them you're doing food packing and they'll know what you need. So it'll be about 40 bucks for the two of those. Um, at Complete Welder Supply here in Northern Cal. A 120 cubic foot tank for exchange. You buy it, then you own it, and then you just bring it in and exchange it. They're about $220. And um, for the tank itself, and then uh, they're charging about 100 bucks for the regulator, the CGA 580 regulator. And it's about 30 bucks to fill the tank. So, um, yeah. 
transportation. You want to move this tank in an open truck. That's the legal way to move the, the tank, is in an open bed truck. Uh, what else can I tell you about nitrogen, the nitrogen setup here? Um, I think that's about it. So thanks so much for stepping up and leading your community in a nitrogen bulk dry good packing event for short, medium, and long-term storage. Remember that the quart and gallon-sized bags are great for barter. Thanks so much.